Hi, and welcome to the animation studios here at Staffordshire University. I'm Stuart Messenger, the course leader for animation. And as you'll probably know by now, that our animation course focuses on character animation, specializing in four pathways, 2D digital, 3D digital, stop motion, and games animation. And today I'm just gonna give you a really quick tour of our studios and the amazing resources that are available to you as a student on the animation course here at the university. Our first port of call is the cabinets here, where we highlight and showcase a number of the working methods that we engage with along the course. We have a mix of sort of practical, analog sculptures, which really comes into play very importantly as part of our drawing for animation modules. Although we have drawing as a very, very sort of important pathway of the course, we never talk about good or bad drawing, and we look at drawing in lots of different ways, as exemplified by these sculptures here. So although we say drawing isn't always just pencil on paper, it can be sculpture. We also look at digital forms of drawing, tilt brush, um, photo shop, all of those different forms, as well as practical um, traditional methods. We also have some examples of sort of stop motion puppets that we also have a very strong pathway of here at the university. We've won some prizes for our stop motion work um, over the last few years. We're going to head upstairs now into the Henryan building where I'm just going to give you a whistle stop tour of the rest of our studios. So if you come on up. So this is H101, one of our main teaching spaces. It's a multi-purpose teaching space, but as you'll see, we've got access to computers, to light boxes, to A3 scanners, and all sort of different forms of um, animation techniques, all the way from the zoetrope, one of the early Victorian methods of animation, all the way through to Cintiqs for digital drawing and animation practices. And here we have one of our main stop motion studio um, rig rooms. In here we have eight rigs and another two in another area of the building. Each rig is bookable so a student can um, have access to this all the way through each three years of their course regardless of which pathway you are following. Access to the resources is yours. Each rig in here comes with a computer stack, a camera, a lighting setup and is fully kernable so you can completely control the lighting that you have in here. The software that we use for uh, stop motion is Dragon Frame, very industry standard, the big studios use it, and that's another reason that we try to embed employability within the course. This is one of our main software teaching spaces. There's a capacity of 25 students in here. We are predominantly a PC operated course. We do have access to Mac facilities for those that prefer that. But in this space, we have dual screen access with access to all of the software, Toon Boom for 2D Digital, Maya for 3D Digital, access to Motion Builder, etc., for uh, motion capture and games animators, but also Adobe Creative Suite, audio editing and all sorts. So really, wherever you see a computer within the department, you are able to literally come in and plug in and play. So this is H127, another one of our multi-purpose teaching spaces. Within here, we do a lot of life drawing. This is really predominantly our drawing studio. And again, with that, it's very multi-purpose. We do traditional academic drawing with Walt, our department skeleton there. Life drawing, we use reference, both online and in person. We have a good roster of life models, both male and female, that we can look at and observe in various forms. We're really very much thinking about um, emotion and emotion, weight, pose, gesture, really important aspects of character animation. We also do acting for animation. I know that some of you will be like, oh, acting. But we look at it really from a very informed and relevant position and how it relates to animation. And one of the things that we've noticed in our teaching on the course is that students will often tend to just sit and think about a how a character moves, literally going from the head to the hand. And what we want to think about more and encourage you to think about is what I call head to heart to hand. And one way that we get 
you to think about that, engaging the emotion in your movement, is actually get you out of your seat, to get you away from the computer or the Cintiq or the stop motion rig, and actually get you performing and physicalizing and acting things out. We do it in a very sort of trusting environment where we all make slight fools of ourselves, including the staff and definitely me. But it's really important that you start to think about the head to heart to hand processes to really make effective and impactful character animation. This is H133, one of our stop motion making uh, spaces where you'll see that there's a, a host of sort of projects underway, um, sort of in progress and have also been put into to storage in here. But this is a space for stop motion pathway students to be able to be creative, to come in and focus on fabrication of whether it's sets or puppets. Um, on varying scales, this is the place that we encourage that sort of creativity. It's also a place that you can get a little bit messy, albeit very professionally, and leave things to dry and leave things to get a better sense of scale and a bit of perspective on your work. Fabrication is a really important part of the course, but also the industry for stop motion makers. But we also give you pre-existing assets for stop motion and 3D digital, so that you are able to focus exclusively on the character animation if fabrication or 3D modeling isn't something that you want to develop as part of your future practice. We also have access to uh, motion control setups. We also have access to a small audio booth so that if you want to record a little piece of audio, then you can just jump into the, the small uh, audio booth here and just record some scratch dialogue or some Foley um, to really help make your animation even more um, memorable and even more um, professional with the use of sound. Here we are in the Motion Capture Studio, which as you'll see is a fantastic resource that you will be lucky enough to be able to engage with across all three years of your course. We give you an induction um, in your first year so that you really get a flavor of what motion capture is, is all about. And then you can also use this resource throughout the second and third year, especially if you're on the games animation pathway. And for those of you really seriously considering character animation, which hopefully you all are, you need to really recognize the importance of motion capture and how that plays a part in short film, in feature film and visual effects animation. It's fundamentally important that you start to engage with all of these technologies throughout your student career. Thank you very much for joining me on the Whistle Stop Tour of the Animation Studios here at Staffordshire University. Thank you and I very much look forward to seeing you in the future, potentially in September.